Good morning, everyone. Um, so I never thought that my debut <laughs> on Facebook would be one of such a nature. Um, what would ordinarily today have been a normal day in my life where I drop my kids off at school and I head off to work to do what I love has just turned into a day where I have decided that I am going to stop this curse, this generational curse, this silence dead in its tracks at this moment. And I'm not doing this video for likes. I'm not doing it for shares. I'm simply doing it as a, a public declaration, as my share of social justice that I feel that I need to do. And if anything, I feel that I need to use whatever gift it is that I have, whatever my purpose is that I need to serve. I need to be the mouthpiece for other people who don't have the courage to stand up and say enough is enough. I'm not going to divulge any detail. Um, I'm not naming and shaming anyone. I am simply saying that the time has come where women just need to start standing up. I mean, for one woman to lift her hands to another woman is completely inappropriate and I don't care what the situation is, what it may have been, what caused it, but I, Muris Phillips, am telling you, whoever is listening to this, that you absolutely do not have to suffer any form of bullying intimidation or violence at the hands of another woman that is absolute and utter nonsense and I will not stand for this and I don't want anyone to make any speculation about anything all I'm saying is that for women to lift their hands to another woman and think it's okay and then we expect the scourge of GBV to end but we allowing this ourselves when we're supposed to be fixing each other's crowns I'm not doing this for any form of social recognition whatsoever if anything I'm doing this for me to know that I'm better than this I'm stronger than this I'm standing up I'm fighting for something which is right and if anything, more than anything, I'm doing this for the women out there who don't have voices, who feel that they need to sit and take the abuse and the backlash and, 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 the, and, and, and the verbal abuse and the defamation of character and the insults which are being slurred at them. And then, and then to think that, um, that it's okay that, yeah, ma viva. As my fault. I see your fault. It has nothing to do with you. I think it has everything to do with the other person. And then I go about, you know, trying to justify people's actions. Am I innocent? Absolutely not. Do I deserve this? Hell no. No one is going to lift their hands to me and think they're going to get away with it. Not in this lifetime. Not ever. You have made a mistake. I'm very sorry. Ladies, we need to stand up and we need to stop suffering in silence. We need to stop thinking on who wants us better, who the reputation and my character and what can the people say. The people must now say what they want. I think my reputation and my character speaks for itself, but I will no longer sit back and be complicit in a crime that I am a victim of and then allow the perpetrators to get away with it. 
And it's exactly because we've been trying or me better means to us that they've been thinking it's okay and that they can get away with us. Not today, not now, not in my lifetime. It's not going to happen, dear people. And I'm not saying this out of emotion. I'm trying to be very reasonable here. It absolutely cannot happen. I cannot let my daughter sit back and think the world of me when her world is being trampled on by other people. Who the hell do these other people think they are? I know who I am. I'm the daughter of a king. And if you think for one minute that that weapon which you think you have formed against me is going to prosper, you have made a grave mistake. In fact, I think that you have just lifted your hands to the wrong person. You should not have lifted your hands towards me. You should not have laid them on me. You should not have said what you said about me. You should not have cursed me. And here I am thinking to myself, blaming myself, Wie wat, ek moes net verhoor iets gesêr het, hoekom my nie lang al iets aan die saak gedoen nie? Wie wat, omdat ek gedink het, I'm following biblical principle um, by turning the other cheek, wees die beter mens, draai om, stap weg, moet nie iets terug sê nie. And look where it has gotten me now. Look where it has landed me now. So much so that I've even blamed the queen that has raised me. I blame my mom and not not for anything. I blame my mom for thinking, weet jy wat, ma, jy het my te ordentlik groot gemaakt. To think that I must respect people out of mere respect. I'm not going to respect people who don't respect me. I've been respecting people um out of the position that they play in my life, uh, the role that they play in my life, positions um, which they occupy um, out of age, you know, out of um, maybe the position that they have in the community. But that's so many nonsense. Skuil achter a skuil in heiligheid, wat ek nie weet van waar afkom nie. And I'm not saying I'm holier than thou, Absolutely not. I'm not saying I'm innocent in all of this. I'm saying, Jy gaan nie oor hande vir my licht en dink, Jy gaan daarmee wegkom nie. Because if I allow you to do it, I can allow the next person to do it. And I'm not one to be messed with. You are not going to trample on me. I am a jewel in God's crown. And you should know that. And the world should know that every other woman is the same and deserves the same. And I cannot for one minute think that one woman can treat another woman like that. I, I can't. I've never done that. I'm in the business of fixing people's crowns, of fixing other women's crowns. Ons is an armal frowens. With the weaker sex, not, not in any respect. All I'm saying is we must stand together and then you expect me to sit back and be quiet while I must suffer abuse at your mouth, at your hands, at your ignorance, at your indifference, at your lack of education. I cannot look at you in the same way. I cannot think that you can be an example to me or anyone else if you act the way you act. And I don't feel sorry for anyone. I don't care whether if you don't know better, you can't do better. You try, especially if you claim to serve a loving God, the same God that I serve. The God of love, the God of order. I'm sorry, I cannot stand for that. And like I said, 
dear daughters, dear girlfriends, dear wives, dear sisters, aunts, whoever you may be. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not the perfect example. Ik ik kan my ook hier via rechop bou voor tentelik hou en worry wat sê die mense nie. Die mense moet maar nou sê wat hulle wil, maar laat die mense die waarheid sê. So, whoever this is for, I don't know who this is for, but if there's two people that this is for, this is for me, the me that I know that I am, the me that I aspire to be, the me that I want to be, for my daughter and for my son and for whoever else thinks that I'm a role model to them. And this is for my daughter, for her to know that you don't ever have to suffer abuse at the hands of anyone.